ton of schools and universities in this area and it is lunch hour. So the students come out here to have lunch in the shadows of this church and the Pantheon. What I'm gonna do is wander around to the front and uh, because the Pantheon actually is a part of this story. So all we're doing is we're leaving the church and going around to the front of the Pantheon at this point. So here we are back in time again, 1744. And King Louis the 15th, he decides to replace the Abbey Church of saint jean vieve which was in really poor condition at the time, with a grandiose building, which I'll let you have a wild guess which grandiose building that was. Do, 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 the Pantheon. So, in fact, the Pantheon was planned to be a church to uh, house the shrine of saint jean vieve that's great. So they renovated it at the top. You can see that little roundabout there. You could actually go all the way up there. You've got a fantastic view of Paris if you can get up there. So the French Revolution sort of changed the intention and use of the Pantheon. Uh, 1789, that's the year we're at right now, 1789. And the place was repurposed, as many of you know, uh, with a vocation to honor great characters that have marked the history of France. So no longer a place for saint jean vieve But I bring you here, I can't go in right now because of COVID, but when things reopen, aside from, do you remember in our previous videos, the folk cult pendulum is in here. And we went to the cemetery where Mr. Folk is buried, Montparnasse but there is a huge mur mural in here dedicated to saint jean Bieve in here. Pretty cool. I'm showing you now our very last step in this tour. So you're here in front of the Pantheon, right? And just in front of it, you turn around and the bottom of this street is the Jardin de Luxembourg. So that's a nice easy way, right? We're not getting turned around. And from the top of the street, you can also see... There she is! Eiffel Tower. Boink! <laughs> So we left off with the French Revolution and they changed the purpose of the Pantheon. In 1870, moving on up in history, gorgeous Jardin de Luxembourg. What we are here for is to find the last bit of our walking tour. saint jean Vieux has a statue here. Right here in the middle of the garden. So all I did was I walked from the entrance straight down here. And when you come down to this portion, you're facing the pond and the buildings on your right and immediately to your right is saint jean Vieve. Most of the statues around here are dedicated to the queens of France, but this one is dedicated to saint jean Vieve. Uh, 
Uh, it's the work of Michel Louis Victor Messier. There we go. I like her braids. They, all the statues here have those wires on the top of their heads to keep the birds off of them. And this is her view every day, all day long. In the spring and summer, she gets to see the children playing in the pond, people picnicking, visiting, a little bit of the Eiffel Tower off in the distance. I got lucky, look, at one of those famous green chairs. There's somebody sitting here, and literally just as I was thinking about, like finding a spot to sit down, she moved, and I'm in the shadows of saint jean -Bièvre. It was meant to be, it was meant to be. <laughs> I think this is great. And I'm so glad that you were here to join me on this walking tour of the special places in Paris that feature the patron saint of Paris, saint jean -Bièvre. I am so grateful for you. Thank you for being here. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank <laughs> you.